Well, Desiree, they are newlyweds, they are adorable, and they are pros in the kitchen. We have dubbed them the cooking couple. We've got Elizabeth Schreider and Michael Frunzi. Welcome to you guys. Thank Thanks you very for much. having us. What are we making today? Tell us. So we're making a uh, roasted red pepper soup. Um, we're going to do it with some orange and there's uh, some tomatoes in there. What we've been working on yeah, while... Yeah, it uh, smells great. Tell us what's in, what's in this pot already. All you do is you cut up one onion mm -hmm. and a few cloves of garlic, if you like garlic. Um, sweat them over some low heat for about five minutes. Okay. Then all I did was I added a can of these tomatoes, a cup and a half of water, mm -hmm. and uh, I roasted three, uh, uh, two red and one yellow bell pepper uh, in the oven. And it's so easy to uh, roast red pepper, roast any kind of pepper. You just uh, seed them, you quarter them, and you put them under the broiler for about five to ten minutes. You have some leftover ones. We over do, there. yeah. And then you just, when they're finished, when they get this nice char on them, you, you just peel that off. Is yeah. That what well, you, you can do? put them in a bowl first to let them steam and cool off. Okay. And then it makes the uh, skin come off just so much easier. Oh, look at that. Yeah. It's very easy. To, very now, easy to peel. You had mentioned the the can. Should you look for anything specific for the canned tomatoes? Something with seasoning on it? I or? like them. That's just a personal thing. I this put those tomatoes. Garlic and, and olive oil. I, I, hey, you can't go wrong with garlic and <laughs> olive oil, you know what I mean? But that's just, that's just the way that I like it. Now listen, I want to, now that we set it up here with what we've got we got going on here, yeah. cooking up, I want to let our viewers know how we found you guys. You actually have a blog. It's called Take Back Your Kitchen. You yes. started your own blog. Yes. Because you have such a passion for cooking. Yeah, that's right. Um, I, 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 cooking is one of the things I love to do. Uh, I like to write also. And um, it, was, it was my lovely wife here who figured out a way to put them together in a way that was sort of something that we could keep up with and not sort of get sick of doing. I like to take pictures of the food that I make and it's easy to sort of write a little bit about a picture. And then we sort of came up with this idea that we really have this sort of mission to inspire people who, who are cooking at home to really be adventurous and not be afraid of going into their kitchens yeah. and doing something crazy or be, uh, and not to feel like it's work, but to actually have a lot of fun and to experiment. How great is that? And you can spend more time together. And the fact that Absolutely. you still follow your lovely wife. We know you're newly wife. How long have you been married? Uh, we got married October 4th, so <laughs> it's just under this five months. This past October? Oh, yeah, yeah, congratulations yeah. Thank to you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so what's the next step? All so right. all the flavors are brewing, they're mixing together We're here. They bring what in the, 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 the heavy metal uh, part of the segment. Oh, the heavy equipment, good. okay. I like oh, this. So this is a stick blend blender. It? It's a okay. blended soup, so the, the chopping doesn't have to be very precise at all because we're just going to blend it. You can do this in a blender, a regular blender, or a food processor, but I'm I'm a fan of the uh, of the stick. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Just all you do is now uh, you might want to stand back. Oh, oh boy, <laughs> he's getting serious. Stand back, Desiree. We're getting serious over here. <laughs> oh, you're, you're, both, you're both dressed so nicely. I'd hate to splatter soup on your uh, clothes. I tell you, he knows. Look at that. He does. Gentlemen. And you know, I'm telling you, 30 seconds. This is just this is uh, a nice consistency, and and you're, uh, you're ready to eat it. Now, you want to simmer this for about 15 or 20 minutes before you uh, blend it. Mm -hmm. You can cool it off to blend it. It's a little bit easier, but I think we're doing okay here. Just going okay, whoa, see, you serious. Did you yeah. see that splash? Yeah, right but there? I'm not wearing white. It's all good. <laughs> it's just like SeaWorld. If you're in the first five rows, you might get a little wet. It's fine. So now we want to finish it off. Is that how you, you compare your cooking to SeaWorld, really? <laughs> Sometimes sure, it, gets, why not? <laughs> it gets a little uh, exciting in the kitchen. Okay. Um, Elizabeth zested one orange, and that's just, uh, why don't you... Explain you what do, you did. All you do is take a microplane mm -hmm. and you just gently rub the orange. You're getting, you just want to get that rind off. You don't want to get, if you look, show the uh, top of the. See, the orange is like. totally bald now. All the, or, okay. all the orange parts been you removed. You probably want to wash the orange first, right? Yes, that's you do. Of course. We Typically, you, that, that's an excellent store. point. That's an excellent point. And then I got my toaster repair kit right here. <laughs> and it goes right into the orange. And look you can do some. technical you guys oh, are. Yeah. Right. Hey, it's all about having fun. And, and, you know, you can buy some gizmo to juice an orange. But I just like doing this. Elizabeth, be honest with you. Guys cook together every night. How many nights a week? Probably about five. Four to five. Really? How long have you been married again, though? No, five. Since October. Oh, yeah, exactly. right. Okay, fine. You can, you can. The naysayers, whatever. I no, said we no. love this it. is supposed to be. No, I, 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 we of, are. of course. Can I point something out? Yeah. What I love about this is this is a vegetarian meal. Again, Absolutely. No, listen. I do eat fish. I won't say that I don't eat fish. But for a lot of folks who are looking for something that's good. And also vegetarian, there's no chicken stock in that. That's nope. very important. If but you like chicken you stock, put yeah, yeah, you can use it. Um, okay. And this is also taking advantage. There's lots of bell peppers out right now. There's lots of sweet onions. There, uh, the, the sweet onions are actually from Mexico right now. But mm. when the vidalias come in uh, from Texas, those are the best. And wow. you can throw them in as well. And, okay. and also, it's the, there's nice oranges because uh, it's, you know, the, uh, it's still time. the winter time. Now, all that time. So this is all very seasonal. What are the finishing steps? So the way we like to finish this is I just added the orange juice and the zest. Mm -hmm. um, I like to add, you know, it's, it's still a veggie thing, right? So yes. I like to serve this. You can serve this warm or even chilled. I think it's Ooh. good chilled, but we can eat it like this okay. if we want. And uh, we finish it with a little bit of Greek yogurt. Oh. 
which uh, I do. I love Greek yogurt. I really do. Some. Yeah, that's right. Hey, these are ten for ten at the store. So go in and uh, <laughs> just get He's in there. He's also about deals too hey, and it, fresh ingredients. Fresh and Liz, ingredients, we, deals. We want to let folks know you can check out Elizabeth and Michael's blog by coming to our website wcnh.com and clicking on the Connecticut style link. I'm going to try this when we come back. I'm going to oh. build up the suspense a little more. Okay. It's always better when you're more hungry. Michael Frenzy and Elizabeth Schreider, the cooking couple. Thanks so much. You. For being here. All right, don't go anywhere.